Reporting to you live here at the Canadian Chroma Exhibit at the Toronto Eaton Centre. It's live from last week, episode 150. Let's go! my fellow tree walkers to another episode of laugh from last week hope last week has served you well just a quick shameless plug before we go on I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel so this morning during shift change keeping in mind this scene from last week's episode i'm trying to figure out what exactly i should wear for tonight's night shift for tomorrow's morning halloween celebrations guess who may have brought to work a couple of their costumes and changed into this baby. That's right guys, it's your boy Eeyore roaming around the break room all somber and everything this morning. Shout outs to my former coworker Kate who inspired me to wear this costume this year. Anyways, after convincing some of my other coworkers to get into the Halloween spirit this year. Oh, no. oh, she's, she's not ready, she's not ready. Getting them to wear several of these costumes that I did bring into work. They won't recognize you. <laughs> we were able to take a couple of pictures here for a Halloween 2023 celebration on the unit. Okay, I'm gonna press it now. Okay. This is the Iron Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. 2023. I'm the new Iron Woman. As well, after modeling my matching bag and matching work booties post night shift in the locker room and commuting home from downtown, acting like I was driving like the real Eeyore, I got home to get in only about an hour of productive sleep before going and getting some takeout at one of our local favorite hotspots here in Scarborough. The one, the only, Spicy Dragon. Where, when we got home, we opened up all of our takeout orders, as y'all can see here. Trying the crispy chicken wings, which are actually pretty bomb. As well as their patented chili chicken, which you guys will definitely have to try. And guys, it's actually so good that the dinosaur on my shirt was hungry enough to also have a bite. Anyways, before we go on, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my high school friends who I remember back in our St. Stephen's days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Andrew. Happy birthday, Andrew. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Now moving on, proceeding to this evening, where I broke out a costume that I've worn several times in the past before. We wanted to celebrate Halloween 2023 with my cousin, my nephew, and my niece. But while making our way to go trick-or-treating, my cousin had asked us to go last minute shopping to buy him a pumpkin. And although we were challenged with this task of finding a pumpkin on for sale last minute on Halloween night, on this mission, we might have seen a distant relative of the robot sushi bots that I've seen in the past. Witnessing one of these things from afar as well as up close of these cleaning machine robots that I haven't had the chance to be lucky enough to see in the wild. And after finding out that no grocery stores had any pumpkins on for sale at all, the wife and I decided to go to a local Starbucks and buy my cousin a pumpkin spiced latte instead. But yeah, wrapping it up for the night before coming back to the condo to try to catch up on some sleep, the wife and I made our way to 102 to finally visit my cousins, my nephew, and my niece. Oh my legs, I'm not that flexible. <laughs> no, don't put your legs. No, oh, these are my legs. No. Look. <laughs> and go trick or treating for Halloween 2023. <laughs>
not peeking. I'm not peeking. Let me open your eyes. Open your eyes. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, bluey. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I want to welcome y'all to the month of November. Happy November, guys! But back to last night, where we were able to take a nice picture of all eight of us, uh, six of us here. We walked around the neighborhood going trick or treating with the little ones. <laughs> and he's holding a What do you say? Even making this nice surprise visit to our family at 52. What do you say? Trick, Trick or, or treat. treat! Where is our candy? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hey, Look at me. That's nice. Look at here. Say cheese. Look at cheese. She's like, where's my candy? Wow. 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 As well as run into one of Faye, the cousin's longtime friends, April. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> How are you? Hi! I was also able to give nephew Kyrie this nice Halloween treat inspired by his Halloween costume this year after we got him to say the magic trick or treat words to me. I got something for you. Okay, okay say trick or treat. Okay, there you go. <laughs> No, then, why did you what take that? What are you saying to Tito JJ? What is it? Show me. Ooh. Show Tito Louie. Show Tito Louie. Yo, look what he got for Halloween. Whoa. That's your Halloween costume. He's so fast. What? Don't eat me. As well, after seeing this viral video of this levitation dance move that I haven't seen before, looking at different how-to videos on how to do this dance move, while the niece and nephew were busy trick-or-treating, I had tried to practice and recreate this particular dance move on somebody's random driveway. Anyways, on to today, where I did a nice little stationary bike session for an hour or so, trying to burn off all the unnecessary calories that I ate from all the Mr. Biggs I consumed last night before I go in for my first of a scheduled four night shifts. Doing five shifts in the next six days, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends who I remember lived down the street from me on Yorkville. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Joanna. Happy birthday, Joanna. I also have another birthday shout out to one of my other childhood friends who was one of the best technical dancers that I have ever seen. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Katie. Happy birthday, Katie. I'm hoping that all y'all that have your birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So, commuting to work last night, off to the far distance in the background, I see this new building downtown that's illuminated in red. And although I feel like I haven't seen this building before, I'm gonna make it a mission of mine to eventually locate which exact downtown building this is. But anyways, after a decent night shift last night, I got a message from Tita Monet to see if I can join her and my mommy pot for lunch before making a visit to my lullaby later on today for All Souls Day. So after getting a measly hour of a decent post night shift nap in, the wife and I went for the first time in a while to the perfect Chinese restaurant to share some stories with my mommy po and Tita Mone over some delicious Chinese food lunch here. And just like I've done in previous years on All Souls Day, this is our monthly visit to you. Happy All Souls Day, Lola. We went to see our loved ones doing my monthly visit to Lola V, visiting her earlier this afternoon. Hey Lola, happy All Souls Day. 
visiting with mom and mommy pa. So now, after a busy day in between my night shifts, going in for my second in a scheduled four shifts, I'm gonna try to get a pre-shift nap in and do our birthday greetings of the day. Starting out with one of my childhood classmates who I remember going to school with since our Mother Teresa days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Beth. Happy birthday, Beth. And we've got a birthday shout out to one of my teachers out there who always tells me just live life to the fullest, Jay. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tita Otz. Happy birthday, Tita Otz. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After a pretty busy night shift last night, and getting this much of rest in naps yesterday in between my shifts, I got home to get an okay decent amount of sleep this afternoon, semi-ready to go in for my third of my scheduled four night shifts tonight. But upon hearing news that had upset me earlier, and luckily I did some research on this beforehand, but the tradition of going to the downtown Denny's location for free Grand Slam birthday breakfasts has officially come to an end. But anyways, before I go in for my night shift tonight, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my nephews out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nixon. Happy birthday, Nixon. I also have a birthday greeting to one of my buddies out there of whom I used to play house league soccer with when we were younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you Chris. Happy birthday Preeb. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members out there that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after leaving you guys yesterday, I went out to buy this box of cinnamon rolls in the hopes of planning something last night during my night shift. So just like you guys know I've done in previous years past, I broke out my celebratory golden hat that I only use on special occasions, made a nice speech while surprising some of my co-workers. So <laughs> this is my speech to you guys here. Okay. Okay. First of all, I just want to acknowledge that although we are working short tonight, I really enjoy working with you guys in this great team. Thank you Southside for welcoming me to come work this shift with you guys. I also wanted to say I appreciate you guys and want to welcome and thank you for coming to my annual spend your birthday working night shift at work night. So bring my birthday with them just after midnight. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Yay! But anyways, post night shift, getting home to the condo, guess who ate this delicious maker pizza slice for breakfast? You know why? It's because I can and because it's my birthday today. And with that, I've got a quick birthday greeting to one of my friends out there that I made going back to Petey's birthday party. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Janine. Happy birthday, Janine. As well, we got a birthday shout out to this guy who has made several Laugh From Last Week cameos in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jay. Happy birthday, Jay. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But moving on, after getting yet another poor sleep after his night shift, I got to open a birthday present that I got from the wife that I might be wearing right now. <laughs> Raise the roof. I also decided to go on a mini road trip with the wife and my new Raising the Roof birthday hat back to a place where we went last week to attend the wife's coordination rehearsal event at the Robert McGaughan Gallery here in Oshawa. Where I actually saw this wall of wearable art that you guys know I actually decided to try on. And after finding a Rubik's Cube here at the gallery, spending at least 10 minutes trying to figure this thing out, I realized after exhausting all of my algorithms that this cube was probably broken apart and placed back together in the wrong order. Totally unsolvable. 
Anyways, just chilling here at the park before I go in for my fourth shift in the span of four nights. I'm singing the song that I usually sing at this time with my one and only Get Shift Done shirt saying I've got one more night. But yeah, it's time to head back downtown to go in for my night shift and I'll just catch you guys again tomorrow. So after I had left you guys yesterday, my wife and I headed to a place that we haven't checked out since this Live From Last Week episode to one of our favorite places in the Scarborough area to get grub, the one, the only, T-Bones. Where, when we got home to enjoy this pre-shift dinner, I had honestly asked myself, birthday cake? More like birthday steak. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Okay, make a wish. Amen. <laughs> Woo, time to eat this. T-bones, then go to work. I also don't recall mentioning to you guys about Friday's night shift where we had to work around a scheduling error, working short-staffed, of which was a crazy busy night shift, having to take on a part of somebody else's assignment, having a total patient load of seven patients. But yeah, in another long shift, last night, we actually celebrated a happy daylight savings time, aka happy 13 hour shift day, aka happy longest shift of the year day. And while working on the day where the clocks turned back an hour during daylight savings time, I was lucky enough to record the moment when daylight savings time had ended. With it also being pretty stressful for three hours, as our charting system was actually out of order for maintenance for that period of time. And so to cope, just like you guys have seen me in previous Laugh From Last Week episodes doing this from time to time, guess who found this Krispy Kreme donut bag? As well as these Scooby-Doo themed box of goodies, took some time in between seeing their patients for one of these treats, and chowed down on this baby to cope with our downtime stresses. But moving on post-shift, the wife and I went to 8 a.m. Catholic Sunday Mass, at the church that we also got married at, the one and only Our Lady of Lords Parish, where post-service we got some suman as a part of one of their fundraisers. Anyways, after getting less than four hours of post-night shift nap in, this evening just chilling at the condo, for dinner the wife craving some of these specialty dishes, had actually got some Korean food delivered to the condo, which, as you guys can see here, were pretty delicious. But yeah guys, I think I'm starting to feel a little bit tired from the lack of sleep and the time change. So, I think I'm gonna call it a night and just check in with you guys again tomorrow. So last night, with my daylight savings body clock still out of whack, although I passed out early, I did wake up really, really early but with the saving grace of being able to go back to sleep and waking up not as early. So once again, getting up before the time of the sunrise this morning, I definitely was set to be productive. And so for the first time since I did this workout scene here, I set out for a nice early morning 5K neighborhood run, heading out at a decent pace while not exerting myself or stressing myself out too much. And just like a video that I caught earlier in September of this squirrel, I saw plenty of these squirrels around in the neighborhood on my run, roaming around getting themselves ready for the hibernation and the cold season coming up. And going back to this scene on another training run in the past, I'm running in the neighborhood and it smells like somebody's making some delicious chicken adobo. Oh. I saw signs of not just the electoral candidates of this coming up regional election, but rather the food that the wife and I had inside the car after Sunday mass, which of course I craved and had as a post-workout meal later in the morning. But moving on to today where I was running a couple of errands, including going to a hotspot downtown where I've been to many, many times in the past, where I booked a space for a little get-together in 
a couple of days. I also found myself at the Toronto Eaton Centre for a free interactive exhibition here located on the third floor near Uniqlo titled Canadian Chroma. Anyways, after checking out the Eaton Center and their Northern Lights display here, where they have behind a curtain this huge Christmas display ready to be unveiled later this month, and at Young Dundas Square getting a taste of free key lime pie, brought to me by the Florida Keys slash Key West tourism kiosk here. Woo! Getting a taste, a free taste, free sample of key lime pie here at Young Dundas Square. Mmm, bomb. And it's free. It's time to go home and rest up, going in for yet another night shift tonight, which will be my sixth in eight nights, where we will wrap up this week's Live from Last Week episode here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Cheerwalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.